Some call it the truth. Me, I call it fun. You know what happens when you, you take a jingle producer, that's me, a claims adjuster, a marketing specialist and PR man, a World War II history buff, a candidate for a doctor of music degree, a terrific pianist and an insurance investigator. Stir them all together, add over a hundred years of tootin' time, and what you get is a great jazz band that happens to contain some of the greatest guys that ever courted the muse. They're my friends, and I love them all. We've been through a lot together, 97% of it without even so much as a crossword. Well, nobody's perfect, which brings me to this album. It isn't perfect by a long shot, but it's live. No retakes, no taking out the clams, no second, third, fourth or whatever times through to get the notes all right while putting the feel in the rumble seat. No, not this band. That's not what we do. What you hear is what we do. Virile, vibrant jazz. It's so kinetic it's hard to keep it confined on the grooves of this record. I'll confess to some editing of this performance, but it was done in order to get maybe one or two more tunes on there for you than would have been possible otherwise. You know, one day in the not too distant future, it won't be easy to find a bunch of guys who can come together and play jazz. Our one American art form is dying. Oh, I know there'll be many, many persons listening to this who'll disagree. But dear listener, it isn't you I'm concerned about. It's all them squares and rednecks out there. Those folks who never heard of Bobby Hackett, or Jack Teagard, Louis Armstrong, or W.C. Handy, or, or me. They think the sun rises and sets on Stevie Wonder and Willie Nelson. Pity. Not that they don't stand with us, but that they prefer the banality of pop and country music to the spark, warmth, and creativity of jazz played well. And here I hasten to add and quote myself, Dixieland jazz in the hands of poor players is deadly dumb. <laughs> now let me give you a little warning. Don't play this album if you don't feel good and you want to stay that way. Man, this stuff is potent. <laughs> it, it might even be a cure for the common cold. I know I always feel warm when I hear it. I even burst out laughing in some spots just from the sheer joy being generated here. Well, let's listen to it together. You know, we love doing this, this group of tunes. We really enjoy doing anything as long as it's jazz and it's us doing it. We'd like to give special thanks to Dan Peterson and Don Smith, the two engineers who helped us put this together. All of us in the Upper Dallas Jazz Band wish you health, happiness, and a long life of listening to and loving jazz. Our kind of jazz. Sincerely, Tommy Loy and the Upper Dallas Jazz Band.
Orleans, you're gonna greet. You'll see them dancing in the street. They're doing that second line. Young and old, you meet. They be dancing on their half, half, happy feet. You'll hear great bands, jazz bands from the heart of Dixieland doing that second line. Here's Billy Briggs. 